Hey everybody, it's Cray Spartan, and today I'm going to be starting the, uh, actually I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. I've wanted to go through the campaigns of just about every Halo game out there, so we've got a lot to cover. Um, obviously, I'm starting off here with Reach, because we're a better place to start than the beginning. So, hopefully this works out well, because I did try this before, but I didn't record quite like I wanted it to, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, starting off with just the regular campaign, I'm going to kind of keep quiet for the uh, all the cutscenes and everything like that, so you can enjoy them if you wanted to enjoy them, if you've never played them or seen them before, which is probably unlikely, but I'm still going to do it anyways. Uh, I'm setting this to normal. Uh, it's nothing crazy out of the ordinary. I just want to uh, be able to play it without any real problems. Uh, I have done it on Legendary. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Uh, normal has enough difficulty where I am punished for being really stupid, so we're going to go with that. Alright, let's go ahead and start this. Now one thing I am going to do is while we're doing this whole little series is I want to talk a lot about um, lore and of course life, news, just about everything that comes our way. But for right now, I'm going to let you enjoy the cutscene. Contact with Visegrad Relay was lost last night. All signals flatlined at 2600 hours. I responded with trooper fire teams, which have since been declared MIA. And now you're sending us. The Office of Naval Intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of valuable resources. I disagree. Commander. So that's our new number six. Cat, you read his file. Only the parts that weren't covered in black ink. Anyone claim responsibility, sir? Only thinks it might be the local insurrection. Five months ago, they pulled a similar job on Harmony. Hit a relay to take out our eyes and ears, then stole two freighters from dry dock. That cannot happen here. Reach is too damn important. I want that relay back online, Noble One. Sir, consider it done. Then I'll see you on the other side. Holland out. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter, Noble Team's leader. That's Cat, Noble Two, Meal and George, Four and Five. You're riding with me, Noble Six. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Me, I'm just happy to have Noble back up to full strength. Just one thing, I've seen your file. Even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set. But we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. Welcome to Reach.
Listen up, noble team. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're going to introduce ourselves to whoever took it out, and then Kat's going to get it back online. Get me under the hood, Commander. Sir, why would Rebels want to cut off reach from the rest of the colonies? You got a chance, maybe you can ask him, George. Commander, we just lost our signal with HQ. Backup channels? Searching. Nada. Can't say what's jamming us. You heard her. Dead zone confirmed. Command will not be keeping us company this trip. I'm lonely already. Shoot-down attempts are likely, so keep your distance. Yes, sir. Let's stay focused. Watch your sectors. There's the communications outpost. Leaving a distress beacon. Could be the missing troopers. Let's check it out. All right, that seems to be like a good spot. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you here right now is that I absolutely love the Falcons. I don't know, they were just so absolutely entertaining in a lot of ways. I've seen so many people just die randomly by them props. It's just so incredibly fun. And head down here to the checkpoint. I'm just kind of just gonna go through, um, hit all the checkpoints, and uh, do the best I can. And like I said, I want to talk about the lore. I want to talk about all sorts of different things when, I, when I'm playing this. Or this random little thing here. Found a beacon. Little beacon. Make out any ID? Negative. But it's military. So where are all the troopers? Yeah, I go find some troopers here. I said this has been out for a while, but you know what? I love the campaign. I've loved every single campaign. Plasma maybe. Can't be. Not on reach. There's a lot of blood on the ground. How awesome. How awesome would it be to put this stuff in Forge right there? Hey, seriously. Nothing like blowing stuff up. And Halo 5's Forge is just going to be uh, pretty impressive, I think. Shoot some MOAs. There is an achievement for shooting seven MOAs uh, in this mission, so if you have not gotten it, uh, you should get that. It's pretty easy to do. The one thing I definitely want to draw your attention to is... This is a 360 game, and it is just incredibly beautiful. I mean, look at this backdrop, this sky drop. Got these crazy windmills. I mean, just so well done. Now, I can't wait to see what they do in Halo 5. All right, here we go. Oh, George, back off, man. Yeah, I found some farmers. Now let's go ahead and um, talk a little bit about George here, because George is different than the other guys here. Just look at his size difference. He is not a Spartan 3 like the rest of us uh, that's in the game. He is actually a Spartan 2. Carter, of course, is a Spartan 3, and we're all, uh, everybody else here is a Spartan 3. The thing about Spartan 3 is this is what's really unique about Noble Team, and this is also something I really don't like about Bungie and what they did. They, they just kind of ignored every single bit of cannon out there and just kind of did what they're going to do. Um... Spartan 3s, they were so little survival rate for Spartan 3s. 
Uh, in the matter of fact, out of the first few classes, I think there was only like two. Um, Tom and Lucy, I think. We got something moving up there. A little jackal, I think, or a skirmisher. Ugh. Skirmishers. That's... Please, please never, ever bring those back. Terrible. Well, I hated the skirmishers. Uh, press LT to throw a grenade. All right, let's see if I can't figure that out here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I did her. I threw a grenade. Ah, good old Halo Reef Bloom. You gotta love it. I mean, people gave Halo Reach a lot of grief, especially for multiplayer-wise. Um, I'm going to be honest with you right here, is that I liked Halo Reach. You just take out the nonsense, just like Halo 4. You take out the stinking nonsense. And by that, I mean all the random factors, uh, the bloom, the... Uh, uh, what's the other stuff here? Uh, the bloom, armor lock, jetpack... You take that stuff out. Man, Halo Reach was a really good game. Uh, especially on uh, V7 settings. It played so well. Need some help, Falcon. They messed up so many little things here and there. I mean... The biggest things is like, hey, let's take, let's take the campaign missions and put them into multiplayers. Like, I, I wish I was there. As, so what are you thinking? That's just a ridiculous idea, Bungie. Why would you do that? But they did it. A mod of pistol ammo, which ain't, ain't right. Grab me a plasma pistol. Stand down, Noble. Stand down. Contacts neutralized. Contacts. It's the damn covenant. The the covenant is on reach. This whole valley just turned into a free fire zone. And just look how pretty this is. And this is like I said, this is a 360 game. Oh, and Halo 4 was even better than this. But I can just imagine what we're going to see in Halo 5, especially campaign-wise. I don't know about you guys, but every time I get a fresh Halo game, the first thing I got to do, I have to get into the, the campaign. I have to know what the story is, know what's going on, see what's new. Plus, it's a great way to really familiarize yourself with the weapons a little bit. Sorry, the Halo Reach controls are just a little different than what I'm used to. Let's see if I can't assassinate him. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Commander, I'm seeing more hostile activity to the northeast. I killed him, Moas. We're going to have a turkey for supper. All right, going on to the next little area here. Uh, this also needs to be in Forge. Just these random little things. Whether you, you can drive them or not, you just we have to have it because, honestly, it adds so much to the um, aesthetics of a map. Just having random stuff there that we can blow up and destroy. Uh, one of my favorite things in Halo 3 was being able to destroy that semi and foundry. That was just one of the best things. And, of course, they had, like... Uh, what were those spool things and that we could just push around and could do all sorts of crazy fun stuff. I think, honestly, Halo Reach's Forge, uh, despite its, um, uh, I want to say functionality, uh, just basic functionality because we've gotten spoiled with uh, Halo 4 and uh, Halo Master Chief Collection. 
and how easy it is uh, to duplicate stuff and um, do all sorts of other crazy things. Like, so easy to do. Ooh, can, I, can I kill him? That's a golden elite. Golden elite. Oh, oops. <laughs> Can't kill your team, though. Where'd he go? I don't see him in here very often. Usually it's a different one. Um, there is often uh, challenges to get an, a golden elite on this level, but he doesn't usually show up here. I can show you exactly where he does normally show up. Um, I'll show you that here pretty quick as we cleared this area out. Come on, fellas. Get in, get in. All right. I said this is something I really enjoyed. I really love the campaign on this. Uh, chase these skirmishers. Oh, my God. I hated the skirmishers. They were so incredibly difficult to kill. They were so fast. And they were so annoying. There we go. Got some grunts. Now, right here, right here, if that challenge does come up and you are doing challenges, um, don't know why you would at this point, but if you do, a Golden Elite does spawn here fairly regularly, but I think because he spawned up there, he's probably not going to spawn down here. But, uh, yeah, if you need a Golden Elite, go to this little bridge. Let's go clear out this mess right here. That's what I've gone through with this this whole little series. Just kind of give you a campaign tips. These aren't speed runs, guys. These are not speed runs by any means. These are just me having fun, kind of talking about uh, Halo and uh, everything that's going on right now. Yeah, I cleared that little mess, little grunts. Another thing I really didn't like that Halo, uh, that Bungie did, is they took away the voices of the grunts. Those were the best. Well, how could you take those away? I mean, all the random kills and watching them run away and scream whatever random things is just so funny. That's what they're there for. They're entertainment. All right, we've got some Marines up here. we got to go save real quick. There you go, splatter. Got to find them troopers right now. We're going to take the back way. See if I can't run over a couple. Nope, nope. I'm able to do this just because I got enough it's on a low enough level I can do that if I'm, I'm legendary that's actually a pretty difficult little fight here I will hold my position here 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 trooper have a, have a plasma pistol that's a good deal right there Sit down, Moa. There we go. Ah, uh, the DMR and it's bloom. It's crazy bloom. Oop, oop, oop. There's a whole batch of them over there. I think I got a few of them. Who am I up against? What am I up against? Oh, rock. There is ammo in here somewhere. There we go. Need some ammo. I, I see what Bungie was trying to do with the bloom. They wanted to really balance it out. The only problem is, is that you could just spam it. 
spam it like crazy and you still get your marks. Like I said, the random stuff on Reach, you take that stuff out and put in the, like the V7 settings, it plays really nice. There's our transport, some Falcons. I don't know, I love the Falcons. They just have such a nice sound to them. I love the props. Plus, like I said earlier, I made a video on just some of the random hijinks that the Falcons did. Um, I could link that here if you guys would like to check that out. It was uh, entertaining to me. I loved seeing this, the silly things. Uh, rockets that fly right through here. That was always fun to see. Oh, that's like getting a random phone call while in the middle of recording. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but uh, they can wait. They can wait. Um, nope. Nope. I'm good. I don't need that. Let's go ahead here and right here. I'm going to show you here is kind of a, a little thing right here. Uh, it's not a big thing, but if you are running low on DMR ammo, which is pretty important uh, at this point, let's go ahead and jump into that. Uh, throw some nades. Let's go get my DMR ammo because I'm actually running low. There's a DMR and some nades right there. Now, right here, you can do... You can defend off the whole thing um, if you really choose to. Uh, you don't have to. Yeah, I want to get. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get this. Grab me. Uh, gotta get get some of this. Get some needles. Got to get used to using that again. So what? Uh, what are you guys? You BR guys, or are you DMR guys, or or are you AR guys? I'm just kind of curious. Um, I personally, I prefer the BR. The DMR definitely has its uses. Um, I think they're separating it even more in Halo Five. Have a seat there, you yeah, jackal. Just about We're in. I said I can destroy all these guys, which I really want to, because you know, nothing wrong with killing some aliens. The more you kill, I figure, the less likely they are to kill somebody else. You know, that's something I. You ever watch. Um, What's that? What's the show? The Walking Dead, where they just leave some zombies alive or some walkers alive, whatever they want to call them. And I, I just don't understand that mentality. If it was me, I, uh, if it was me, I would kill just about everything that moved that was uh, technically dead. You know what I mean? And I do that for a reason. Because if I'm if that's dead, someone else isn't gonna walk across that and fi and get chewed on it. You know what I mean? Roger that. I'm clear. Yeah, we're just getting into everything here. This is kind of a cool little part here. I kinda of like this little spot. You got something you want to tell me? Oh, yeah, I want I wanna tell you something. Can't see a thing. Turn on my noble six, turn on your night vision. Turn on my lights. And a little cutscene here, so I'll let that play. Where's the rest of your unit? We got split. I don't think they... It sounded bad on the comms. All right, Corporal. Stay put. We'll get you a combat surgeon. Damn. Plasma damage. Found something. I'll take that, Six. 
not your domain. I've got a live one over here. Uh, come on. Uh, Archie, come. Minion, Inan. Oh, I don't beg It's all right. Kill it. Not gonna hurt you. You're in yeah. George. I got her. Keep still, and I'll release you. Make it vanak. What is that? It's over. We've been engaged. Bad guy coming out. Hey, Tango Group has permission to pursue. Negative four, stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. I just love the music. Love the music. Marty O'Donnell. God, he's just a beast. Trying to get that elite before he ran off, but apparently not. It saves me a little hassle later on if you can get him. Now, there is uh, something up here I wanted to show you guys. Um, coming up here. Kill these little grunty grunts. You have to be careful with their uh, backpacks because they do explode. All right, let's go down here. I said... There, problem solved. And right here, look what I got. Shotgun. This is something to pay attention to. You know, I didn't know that was there for the longest time. It's like, uh, just kind of happened to fall down there or something. It's like, oh, that's interesting. Well, I got lucky here. He got stuck on the wall. God, when I played this on um, Legendary... That was an experience. Uh, he just comes up on you so quickly. Uh, not much you can do about it. Oh, hey, my teammate got him. Nice job. And that is just going to wrap up this uh, first episode of Halo Reach. Uh, the Let's Play that I'm going to be doing. Hope you guys enjoyed it, learned a little something. Like I said, I'm going to talk a little bit more about lore. This is just kind of doing this for fun. Uh, we've got some time yet for Master Chief Collection, so uh, we'll see what we get until we get there. On May 6th, which is two days away from now, probably one day away from the time it'll take me to upload this, but May 6th, there's going to be some kind of reveal, so it'll be interesting to see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here, hit the button, and watch the uh, outtake, or the not the outtake, but the finishing cutscene, and we'll go from there, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. How long? Question of my life. If the question is, when will the station be back online? Two weeks, earliest. This is plasma damage. All major uplink components are fried. Two minutes is too long. Which is why I'm splicing into the main overland bundle to get you a direct line to Colonel Holland. You're in my light, Commander. Find out what she knows. <laughs> What's your name? Do you live around here? I'm Nevin George. Shada. Shada? Se potras Nev. Your accent sounds familiar. Shaprun? Tangari. Friend of yours? 
father. Shine along. I'm sorry. Why would you be? Big man forgets what he is sometimes. She just lost her father. She needs a full psychiatric workup. She's not the only one. Lock it down, both of you. Get her on her feet. The body stays here. Thank you, sir. Signa. It's patchy, but it's there. I'll take it. Let's not touch anything. You wouldn't want to ground this place. Barely getting you. What's your situation? Over? Colonel, this is Noble One. There are no rebels. The Covenant are on reach. Acknowledge? Come again, Noble One. Did you say Covenant? Affirmative. It's the Winter Contingency. May God help us all.